Oh my gosh. I can't take myself seriously with these hiccups. Well, it's been a little while since I've done a Q&A, so let's start this one off right. Boxers or briefs? No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Boxers. Duh, I have some level of self-respect. Would you care if I died? Would you come to the funeral? Wait, who said that? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Who's your celebrity crush? <coughs> 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 Greatest fear as a child? So this isn't even a joke. Remember that episode of Full House where Michelle's feet just like swell up so massive that they basically like fill up the entire house? And then she wakes up in the middle of the night and it turns out it was all just a nightmare and so she breathes a sigh of relief and pulls the covers off just to reveal, no, they're still massive. That was my introduction to the idea of a dream within a dream. And they friggin' messed me up because I would have nightmares that my feet had grown ginormously and I didn't even notice and I was like some hideous freak and then I would wake up from that nightmare in real life in the middle of the night but I think my feet were still ginormous because that's how it was in the episode so I just stare in horror at my bed sheets thinking that my feet were ginormous under there. Oh, that messed me up. <laughs> you know, kind of on that same vein, I actually, fun fact, remember my first nightmare. I was in a closet when suddenly, like, my crush at the time popped out from under a pile of clothes. And obviously I was excited about this and then out of nowhere, a laser blast exploded her face off. I remember clearly the last thing she said as smoke poured out of her eye sockets was, my eyes were open. I don't know what it means, but that was my first nightmare. <laughs> the most important question, dogs or cats? Well, which one, if you've been gone for more than three hours, will poop on the carpet? No, don't get me wrong, I love dogs. I'm just saying, I don't want to have one as a pet. I also recognize that is basically suicide to say that on the internet. <laughs> I love dogs, I just don't want one as a pet. Beanies or snapbacks? I only wear snapbacks when I can't wear beanies. Well, that was a good slap. <laughs> Did you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> yeah, obviously, come on, I have self-respect. What's your favorite food that contains raisins? <laughs> Oatmeal raisin cookie, the obviously superior cookie. <laughs> Worst driver you've ever ridden with? <clears throat> oh, no left turn. I'm just kidding, love you bro. Did you ever eat paper? Mm. You mean fiber enhanced bread? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That texture makes me cringe. It's like napkins on your teeth. What would you do if you won the lottery? I think the safest course of action would be to act like I didn't. What's your middle name? Okay, you have waited long enough. It's time to answer this. I will reveal it at 10,000 subscribers. I am such a freaking jerk. Do you have any childhood crush stories? So it's fifth grade, okay? Just a few days before I have to move to the other side of America. And my class decides to put on a little talent show. So my childhood crush, Bryn, was going to be singing Mary Did You Know? And I got out my camera and recorded the entire thing. And then for the first few months after we moved, I would play that video to myself late at night and cry that I would never see her again. Oh my gosh, I was melodramatic. Agony, far more painful, I don't know the words. <laughs> I hope she's not watching this. Hey, Bryn. <laughs> What's your deepest, darkest secret regarding donuts? Brace yourself, okay? Are you ready for this? I actually don't really for donuts. There, I said it. Unless I'm feeling majorly sugar deprived, if someone gives me one as a gift, I eat it more out of a sense of obligation than enjoyment. Now bagels on the other hand, I'm all about these, you know, especially with like a mound of cream cheese. Mm, 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 mm. What was the best day of your life so far? The first day of VidCon. That was literally the first time that I was surrounded by a community of people that cared for the same thing that I do. Ah, that sense of community, you know, that shared passion was something that I had never experienced before. Oh, hey, hey you know, are you? Yeah. you are, I think, yeah, yeah I've seen I've, your videos. We're, we're Facebook friends. Yeah. So. And John Carlin recognized me. <clears throat> 
I will never not brag about that. What do you do to stay positive? What encourages you? Well, honestly, I know that it makes me really uncomfortable when I'm around people that are upset or negative, and I don't want to be that way for other people. Plus, I hate the physical sensations of being angry or upset or just negative in general. And I figure, hey, I have just a few short years of life. Why would I waste any more time than the absolute barest minimum being negative or upset? So it's a conscious choice to be happy, which involves, well, I generally listen to upbeat happy music. <laughs> and this smile trick is definitely like the, the big thing in my life. Wow, that was like, that was a good question. And honestly, I'm I'm proud of that answer. Yeah, that, I think I'll just do one more. Folder or scruncher? Both, depending on the severity of the situation. Ah, oh, crap, don't go away, light, I need you. Come on, clouds, why?